Houston, Texas, known for its vibrant culture and bustling city life, has been facing a significant weather event that has left its mark on the city and its residents. In this comprehensive video, we delve into the impact of Hurricane Barrel, which recently made landfall near Corpus Christi as a Category 1 hurricane, bringing with it strong winds, heavy rainfall, and widespread flooding. This video will provide you with detailed updates on the current weather conditions, the steps being taken for recovery, and important information to keep you and your loved ones safe. Hurricane Barrel arrived with winds of 80 miles per hour, making landfall early on a Monday morning and leaving behind a trail of destruction across southeast Texas. The initial impact caused significant flooding, power outages, and damage to infrastructure. As Barrel moved northward, it transformed into a tropical storm, but the effects continued to be felt with lingering rain bands and the potential for further flooding. The city's emergency services have been working tirelessly to manage the situation, and this video will take you through their efforts to restore normalcy. In addition to the immediate response to the hurricane, this video will cover the ongoing weather forecasts for the coming week. We will discuss the potential for scattered tropical downpours, the heat advisories in place, and what residents can expect as they navigate the aftermath of the storm. Understanding the weather patterns and being prepared for future events is crucial, and we aim to provide you with the information you need to stay informed and safe. Furthermore, we will explore the impact of Hurricane Barrel on local communities, highlighting stories of resilience and recovery. From the devastating floodwaters to the heroic efforts of first responders, this video captures the human element of this natural disaster. We will also provide tips and guidelines on how to prepare for future weather events, ensuring that you have the knowledge and resources to protect yourself and your property. Join us as we take a deep dive into the weather conditions affecting Houston, the impact of Hurricane Barrel, and the steps being taken to recover and prepare for the future. This video is your comprehensive guide to understanding the current situation and staying safe in the face of unpredictable weather. Chapter 1 Introduction to Houston Weather Houston's weather is characterized by a humid subtropical climate, with long, hot summers and mild winters. The city's proximity to the Gulf of Mexico significantly influences its weather patterns, leading to high humidity levels and frequent thunderstorms during the summer months. Houston is also prone to hurricanes and tropical storms, which can bring severe weather, including heavy rainfall, strong winds, and flooding. Understanding the weather in Houston is crucial for residents and visitors alike. The city experiences a wide range of weather conditions, from scorching heat waves to torrential downpours. During the summer, temperatures often soar into the 90s and above, with high humidity making it feel even hotter. Heat advisories are common, urging people to take precautions to avoid heat-related illnesses. Thunderstorms are a regular occurrence in Houston particularly during the late spring and summer months. These storms can bring heavy rain, lightning, and occasionally hail. The city's flat topography and extensive bayou system make it susceptible to flooding, even from relatively short periods of intense rainfall. Flash flood warnings are frequently issued, and residents are advised to be vigilant and prepared for sudden changes in weather conditions. Hurricanes pose a significant threat to Houston, given its location on the Gulf Coast. The hurricane season typically runs from June to November, with the peak occurring in August and September. Hurricanes can bring devastating winds, storm surges, and heavy rainfall 
leading to widespread damage and flooding. The city's emergency management teams are well prepared for such events, with detailed evacuation plans and resources to assist residents in need. In recent years, Houston has experienced several major weather events that have tested the resilience of its residents and infrastructure. Hurricanes Harvey in 2017 and Laura in 2020 brought significant challenges, highlighting the importance of preparedness and community support. The city has since invested in improving its flood control systems and emergency response capabilities to better handle future storms. As we delve into the impact of Hurricane Barrel, it's important to understand the broader context of Houston's weather patterns and the challenges they present. The city's ability to adapt and respond to these challenges is a testament to the strength and resilience of its community. In the following chapters, we will explore the specifics of Hurricane Barrel's impact, the ongoing recovery efforts, and what the future holds for Houston's weather. This detailed introduction provides a comprehensive overview of the weather conditions in Houston, setting the stage for an in-depth exploration of Hurricane Barrel's impact and the subsequent recovery efforts. The following chapters will build on this foundation, offering detailed information and insights into each aspect of the weather event and its aftermath. Chapter 1, Hurricane Barrel Initial impact Hurricane Barrel made its presence felt as it approached the Texas coast, bringing with it a mix of anticipation and anxiety for residents. Landfall occurred near Corpus Christi early on a Monday morning, with Barrel categorized as a Category 1 hurricane. Despite being on the lower end of the hurricane scale, the storm packed a significant punch, with sustained winds reaching 80 miles per hour. The impact was immediate and severe, setting the stage for a challenging few days for southeast Texas. The initial hours after landfall saw widespread power outages as the strong winds downed trees and power lines. Many residents woke up to the sound of howling winds and the unsettling creaking of their homes battling the elements. Emergency services were on high alert, responding to calls of fallen trees, blocked roads, and damaged property. The city's infrastructure, designed to withstand such events, was put to the test as the storm raged on. One of the most immediate concerns was the torrential rainfall that accompanied Barrel. The storm's slow-moving nature meant that rain bands lingered over the region, dumping copious amounts of water over a short period. Rain gauges across southeast Texas recorded between 5 to 10 inches of rain, with some isolated areas seeing even higher totals. This sudden deluge overwhelmed the drainage systems, leading to flash flooding in many low-lying areas. As the rain continued to pour, the bayous, creeks, and streams that crisscross Houston began to swell. The city's extensive bayou system, while effective in managing regular rainfall, struggled to cope with the sheer volume of water brought by barrel. The situation was exacerbated by a storm surge in Galveston Bay, which initially limited the drainage of floodwaters into the bay. Streets, highways, and neighborhoods turned into rivers, with water levels rising rapidly and posing a significant threat to residents. Amidst the chaos, emergency responders and volunteers sprang into action. Rescue operations were launched to assist those trapped in their homes or vehicles by the rising waters. Boats, high-water vehicles, and even improvised rafts were deployed to navigate the flooded streets and reach those in need. The community's spirit of resilience and solidarity was on full display as neighbors helped each other to safety and provided support where they could. 
The winds, while not the most powerful seen in a hurricane, still caused considerable damage. Trees, already saturated by the rain, were easily uprooted by the gusts, crashing onto roads, homes, and power lines. Roofs were damaged, windows shattered, and debris was scattered across the landscape. The combination of wind and water created a hazardous environment, with many areas deemed unsafe until thorough assessments and cleanup operations could be conducted. Power outages were widespread, affecting thousands of households and businesses. Utility companies worked around the clock to restore power, but the extent of the damage meant that some areas faced prolonged outages. The lack of electricity added another layer of difficulty for residents already coping with flooding and storm damage. Emergency shelters were set up to provide refuge for those displaced by the storm, offering food, water, and medical assistance. As the day progressed, Hurricane Barrel began to move northward, slowly transitioning into a tropical storm. While the winds began to diminish, the rain persisted, and the risk of flooding remained high. The focus shifted from immediate rescue operations to assessing the damage and planning for recovery. Authorities urged residents to remain indoors and avoid flooded areas, emphasizing the dangers posed by standing water, such as hidden debris and contaminated water. The initial impact of Hurricane Barrel was a stark reminder of the power of nature and the vulnerability of urban environments to extreme weather events. The response from the community and emergency services was swift and coordinated, but the challenges were far from over. The following days would test the resilience of Houston and its residents as they faced the daunting task of recovery and rebuilding. In the next chapter, we will delve deeper into the flood warnings and precautions issued in the wake of Barrel, exploring how the city prepared for and managed the extensive flooding that ensued. We will also look at the measures taken to ensure the safety of residents and the efforts to mitigate the impact of future storms. Chapter 2 Flood Warnings and Precautions Flooding is a Significant Risk in Houston given its flat terrain and extensive network of bayous and streams. The arrival of Hurricane Barrel highlighted this vulnerability, as the storm brought heavy rainfall that quickly overwhelmed the city's drainage systems. In this chapter, we will explore the flood warnings and precautions issued by authorities, the response from the community, and the measures taken to manage the flooding. As Hurricane Barrel approached, meteorologists and emergency management teams closely monitored the storm's trajectory and intensity. Early warnings were issued, advising residents to prepare for the potential of heavy rainfall and flooding. The National Weather Service, NWS, played a crucial role in providing accurate and timely information issuing flood warnings and advisories to keep the public informed. Flood warnings are classified into several categories, each indicating the severity and expected impact of the flooding. For Barrel, multiple flood warnings were in effect across southeast Texas, including flash flood warnings, river flood warnings, and urban and small stream flood advisories. These warnings were communicated through various channels, including local news, social media, and emergency alert systems, ensuring that residents received the information promptly. One of the primary concerns was the potential for flash flooding, which occurs when intense rainfall leads to rapid water level rises in a short period. Flash flood warnings urged residents to seek higher ground immediately and avoid low-lying areas prone to flooding. The warnings emphasized the dangers of driving through flooded roads, a leading cause of flood-related fatalities. The message was clear, turn around, don't drown. 
River flood warnings were also issued as the bayous and rivers swelled with the heavy rainfall. These warnings provided forecasts on water levels, indicating when and where the rivers were expected to crest. Authorities monitored key locations along the bayous and rivers, using real-time data to predict flooding patterns and plan response efforts. In some areas, mandatory evacuations were ordered to ensure the safety of residents in the floodplain. The city's emergency management teams activated their flood response plans, coordinating with local, state, and federal agencies. Sandbag distribution centers were set up across the city, providing residents with materials to protect their homes from floodwaters. Public works departments worked tirelessly to clear storm drains and culverts, ensuring that the drainage systems could function as effectively as possible. In addition to physical preparations, authorities focused on public awareness and education. Social media platforms were used extensively to disseminate information about flood risks, safety tips, and updates on the storm's progression. Community meetings and press conferences provided opportunities for residents to ask questions and receive guidance on how to prepare and respond to the flooding. During the height of the storm, real-time communication was critical. The city's Emergency Operations Center, EOC, served as the hub for coordinating response efforts and disseminating information. The EOC maintained constant communication with first responders, utility companies, and community organizations, ensuring a cohesive and efficient response. Updates were provided regularly through press briefings and online platforms, keeping residents informed of the latest developments. Community response played a vital role in managing the flooding. Volunteers from various organizations, including the American Red Cross and local community groups, assisted with evacuation efforts and provided support at emergency shelters. Neighbors helped each other by sharing resources, offering shelter, and assisting with flood protection measures. The sense of community solidarity was evident as people came together to support those in need. As the floodwaters began to rise, the focus shifted to rescue and relief operations. First responders, including fire departments, police, and the National Guard, were deployed to assist with evacuations and rescue missions. High water vehicles and boats were used to navigate the flooded streets, reaching stranded residents and transporting them to safety. The coordination and bravery of these teams were instrumental in saving lives and providing critical assistance during the crisis. In the aftermath of the flooding, the city faced the daunting task of recovery and rebuilding. Assessments were conducted to determine the extent of the damage, and efforts were made to restore essential services. Utility companies worked to repair damaged power lines and restore electricity, while public works teams cleared debris from roads and drainage systems. The recovery process was extensive, requiring the collaboration of various agencies and the resilience of the community. The experience of Hurricane Barrel underscored the importance of flood preparedness and the need for ongoing efforts to mitigate the impact of future storms. Investments in infrastructure, such as improving drainage systems and building flood-resistant structures, are essential to reducing the risk of flooding. Public education and awareness campaigns also play a crucial role in ensuring that residents are prepared and know how to respond to flood risks. In the next chapter, we will delve into the recovery efforts post-barrel, exploring the steps taken by authorities and the community to restore normalcy and support those affected by the storm.
We will also highlight the stories of resilience and recovery that emerged in the aftermath of the flooding. By providing detailed and structured chapters, we can offer a comprehensive overview of the events and responses related to Hurricane Barrel and its impact on Houston. Each chapter builds on the previous one, creating a cohesive narrative that informs and engages the audience. The subsequent chapters will continue this approach, offering in-depth information and insights into each aspect of the weather event and its aftermath. Chapter 3, Recovery Efforts Post-Barrel, The Aftermath of Hurricane Barrel Left Houston Grappling with Significant Challenges. The city's infrastructure was tested, homes were damaged, and many residents faced the daunting task of rebuilding their lives. In this chapter, we will delve into the recovery efforts, the steps taken by authorities and the community, and the stories of resilience that emerged in the wake of the storm. Immediate response and assessment as the storm moved north and began to dissipate, the immediate focus shifted to assessing the damage and prioritizing response efforts. The city's Emergency Operations Center, EOC, remained fully operational, coordinating with local, state, and federal agencies. Initial assessments indicated widespread flooding, power outages, and damage to infrastructure. Emergency responders, including fire departments, police, and the National Guard, continued to conduct rescue operations for those still trapped by floodwaters. High-water vehicles and boats were utilized to navigate the flooded areas, ensuring that residents were safely evacuated. Temporary shelters were established across the city to provide refuge for those displaced by the storm. These shelters offered essential services such as food, water, medical care, and a safe place to stay. Restoration of essential services One of the critical priorities was restoring essential services such as electricity, water, and transportation. Utility companies deployed crews around the clock to repair damaged power lines and restore electricity to affected areas. This task was complicated by the extensive flooding and the need to ensure that the repairs were conducted safely. By midweek, power had been restored to the majority of affected households, but some areas with severe damage required longer to be fully operational. Water services were also a priority, as flooding had compromised the city's water treatment facilities and distribution systems. Crews worked to repair damaged pipes and restore clean water supply. In the meantime, bottled water was distributed to residents, and boil water advisories were issued to ensure the safety of the drinking water. Transportation networks were severely impacted by the flooding, with many roads and highways rendered impassable. Public works teams focused on clearing debris and draining flooded areas to restore mobility. Major thoroughfares and critical access points were prioritized to facilitate the movement of emergency vehicles and the delivery of supplies. Community support and volunteer efforts, the recovery efforts saw a tremendous outpouring of support from the community. Volunteer organizations, including the American Red Cross, local nonprofits, and faith based groups, mobilized to provide assistance. Volunteers helped distribute supplies, assist with cleanup efforts, and support residents in need. The sense of community solidarity was palpable, as neighbors came together to help each other rebuild. Stories of resilience and compassion emerged across the city. Local businesses offered their resources, from providing meals to donating supplies. Schools and community centers opened their doors as temporary shelters and distribution centers. 
The collective effort of the community played a crucial role in accelerating the recovery process and providing much-needed support to those affected by the storm. Long-term recovery and rebuilding while the immediate response was focused on addressing urgent needs, the long-term recovery efforts required a comprehensive approach. The city established a recovery task force to oversee and coordinate rebuilding efforts. This task force worked closely with federal agencies such as FEMA, Federal Emergency Management Agency, to secure funding and resources for the recovery. Damage assessments were conducted to determine the extent of the destruction and prioritize rebuilding projects. Homes, businesses, and public infrastructure, such as schools, hospitals, and roads, were evaluated. Insurance claims processes were expedited to provide financial support to homeowners and businesses affected by the storm. Rebuilding efforts emphasized resilience and mitigation to reduce the impact of future storms. This included improvements to drainage systems, the construction of flood-resistant buildings, and the implementation of stricter building codes. The city also invested in green infrastructure projects, such as the restoration of wetlands and the creation of green spaces, to enhance natural flood defenses. Mental health and community well-being The psychological impact of Hurricane Barrel on residents was significant. The stress and trauma of experiencing a natural disaster, losing homes, and the uncertainty of the future took a toll on mental health. Recognizing this, the city provided mental health support services, including counseling and support groups. Community organizations played a key role in offering emotional support and helping residents cope with the aftermath of the storm. Federal and state support Federal and state governments provided substantial support to aid Houston's recovery. Emergency declarations and disaster relief funds were authorized to provide financial assistance for rebuilding efforts. Federal agencies such as FEMA and the Army Corps of Engineers worked in tandem with local authorities to implement recovery projects and ensure the city's infrastructure was restored. The collaboration between various levels of government, the private sector, and the community was instrumental in the recovery process. It demonstrated the importance of coordinated efforts and preparedness in responding to natural disasters. Lessons learned in future preparedness, the experience of Hurricane Barrel highlighted several lessons for future preparedness and response. The importance of early warning systems, community education, and robust emergency response plans were reinforced. The city committed to ongoing investments in infrastructure improvements and disaster preparedness programs to enhance resilience. Public awareness campaigns were launched to educate residents on flood risks, emergency preparedness, and how to respond to future weather events. These initiatives aim to build a more informed and prepared community capable of withstanding and recovering from natural disasters. In the next chapter, we will provide a detailed weather forecast for the week following Hurricane Barrel, exploring the expected weather conditions and any potential risks that residents should be aware of. This will help residents plan and prepare for the days ahead ensuring they remain informed and safe. Chapter 4 Detailed Weather Forecast for the Week As Houston begins to recover from the impact of Hurricane Barrel, it is crucial to stay informed about the weather conditions for the upcoming week. This chapter provides a comprehensive weather forecast, highlighting potential risks and offering guidance on how to prepare for the days ahead. Monday evening and Tuesday morning, in the immediate aftermath of Barrel, conditions began to improve by Monday evening. The storm had moved north, and the rain started to taper off. 
However, isolated showers were still possible, particularly in areas that experienced significant flooding. The overnight temperatures were expected to fall into the low 70s, providing some relief from the heat and humidity. By Tuesday morning, the focus shifted to the rising temperatures. The National Weather Service issued a heat advisory for most of southeast Texas, effective from 7 a.m. Tuesday until 7 a.m. Wednesday. With temperatures rebounding into the low 90s and high humidity levels, the heat index values were expected to make it feel like triple digits. Residents were advised to stay hydrated, avoid strenuous activities during peak heat hours, and take precautions to prevent heat-related illnesses. Tuesday afternoon and evening, the forecast for Tuesday afternoon indicated the possibility of scattered tropical downpours as the remnants of barrel continued to affect the region. These downpours could bring brief periods of heavy rain, but the overall trend was towards drier conditions. The heat advisory remained in effect, and residents were urged to take measures to stay cool and safe. In the evening, temperatures were expected to drop slightly, but the high humidity would persist. The potential for scattered showers remained, but they were not anticipated to be as intense as those experienced during the storm. Residents in flood-affected areas were advised to remain cautious and avoid driving through standing water. Wednesday and Thursday, the middle of the week, promised more stable weather conditions. Wednesday was forecasted to be mostly dry, with a few isolated showers possible in the afternoon. Temperatures were expected to reach the low to mid-90s, with heat index values still making it feel hotter. The heat advisory could be extended if the conditions warranted so staying informed through weather updates was essential. Thursday followed a similar pattern, with mostly sunny skies and temperatures in the mid-90s. The humidity levels remained high, contributing to the overall heat stress. While the risk of heavy rain diminished, residents were reminded to stay vigilant, as any sudden downpours could still exacerbate existing flood conditions. Friday and the weekend as the week progressed, the forecast indicated a return to typical Houston summer weather. Friday was expected to be hot and humid, with temperatures soaring into the mid to upper 90s. The heat index values could reach dangerous levels, so it was crucial to take heat safety seriously. Scattered afternoon thunderstorms were possible providing brief relief from the heat but also posing a risk of localized flooding. The weekend weather outlook suggested continued hot and humid conditions. Saturday and Sunday were expected to see temperatures in the upper 90s, with a chance of isolated thunderstorms in the afternoon. These storms were typical of the Gulf Coast summer pattern and could bring heavy rain, lightning, and gusty winds. Residents were advised to monitor the weather and be prepared for sudden changes. Flood recovery and precautions as the city worked to recover from barrels impact, it was important to remain cautious of lingering floodwaters and debris. Even as the weather improved, some areas could still experience residual flooding due to saturated ground and slow drainage. Residents were advised to avoid driving through flooded areas and to report any hazardous conditions to local authorities. Efforts to clean up and repair damaged infrastructure were ongoing, and utility crews continued to restore power and water services. Patience and cooperation with recovery teams were essential to ensure a smooth and efficient recovery process. Residents were encouraged to check on their neighbors, especially those who were elderly or had limited mobility, to offer assistance and support.
Preparing for future weather events, the experience of Hurricane Barrel underscored the importance of being prepared for future weather events. As part of the recovery process, the city emphasized the need for residents to have an emergency preparedness plan in place. This included having an emergency kit with essential supplies, knowing evacuation routes, and staying informed through reliable weather sources. Public education campaigns were launched to raise awareness about flood risks, heat safety, and hurricane preparedness. These initiatives aim to equip residents with the knowledge and resources needed to protect themselves and their families during extreme weather events. Building a resilient community required ongoing efforts and a collective commitment to preparedness. In the next chapter, we will explore the impact of Hurricane Barrel on local communities, highlighting the challenges faced by residents and the inspiring stories of resilience and recovery. We will also discuss the role of community organizations and volunteers in supporting those affected by the storm. Chapter 5 Impact on Local Communities Hurricane Barrel's impact on Houston extended beyond the physical damage to infrastructure. It deeply affected the lives of residents and communities across the city. This chapter delves into the challenges faced by local communities, the stories of resilience that emerged, and the crucial role played by community organizations and volunteers in supporting those affected. Challenges faced by residents, the arrival of Hurricane Barrel, brought with it a myriad of challenges for Houston's residents. Flooding was one of the most immediate and visible impacts, with many neighborhoods submerged under several feet of water. Homes were inundated, possessions were lost, and the emotional toll of witnessing such devastation was profound. For many residents, the flooding meant temporary displacement. Families were forced to evacuate their homes and seek shelter in emergency facilities or with friends and relatives. The uncertainty of not knowing when they could return home or what they would find added to the stress and anxiety. In some cases, entire communities were cut off by floodwaters requiring coordinated rescue efforts to ensure everyone's safety. Power outages compounded the difficulties. Without electricity, residents struggled to stay cool in the sweltering heat, preserve food, and maintain communication with loved ones. The loss of power also impacted critical services such as medical facilities and emergency response operations highlighting the interconnected nature of the city's infrastructure. Stories of resilience and recovery amidst the challenges, stories of resilience and community spirit emerged. Residents banded together to support one another, demonstrating the strength and solidarity of Houston's communities. Neighbors helped neighbors, sharing resources, providing shelter, and offering emotional support. One notable story was that of the volunteers who formed makeshift rescue teams. Equipped with personal boats, kayaks, and high-water vehicles, these volunteers navigated flooded streets to reach those in need. Their selfless efforts saved lives and provided a lifeline for many stranded residents. The courage and determination of these volunteers were a testament to the community's resilience. In another inspiring example, local businesses stepped up to provide aid. Restaurants and food trucks offered free meals to those affected, while stores donated supplies such as bottled water, clothing, and cleaning materials. Schools and community centers opened their doors as temporary shelters, ensuring that displaced families had a safe place to stay. The role of community organizations and volunteers' community organizations played a vital role in the recovery process. Nonprofits, faith-based groups, 
and local charities mobilized quickly to provide assistance. The American Red Cross, for instance, set up emergency shelters and distributed relief supplies. Volunteers from various organizations assisted with cleanup efforts, helping residents clear debris and start the process of rebuilding. Faith-based organizations also provided crucial support. Churches, mosques, and synagogues became hubs of relief activity offering shelter, food, and emotional support. These organizations leveraged their networks to coordinate volunteer efforts and ensure that aid reached those in the most affected areas. Local nonprofits focused on specific needs within the community. For example, Organizations that support low-income families and vulnerable populations provided targeted assistance, ensuring that those who were already facing challenges received the help they needed. The collaboration between these organizations and the broader community underscored the importance of a unified response in times of crisis. Long-term community support and recovery The recovery process extended beyond the immediate response to include long-term support for affected communities. Rebuilding homes and restoring livelihoods required sustained effort and resources. Community organizations continued to play a crucial role, providing ongoing assistance to help residents get back on their feet. Financial support was a key aspect of the recovery efforts. Fundraising campaigns and donations provided much-needed resources for rebuilding. Local businesses, philanthropic organizations, and individuals contributed to recovery funds, demonstrating the community's commitment to helping those in need. Mental health support was another critical area of focus. The trauma of experiencing a natural disaster and the stress of recovery took a toll on many residents. Community organizations offered counseling services, support groups, and other mental health resources to help residents cope with the emotional aftermath of the storm. Building resilient communities, the impact of Hurricane Barrel underscored the importance of building resilient communities. This involved not only physical infrastructure improvements, but also strengthening social networks and community ties. Efforts to enhance disaster preparedness and response capabilities were essential to ensuring that communities could better withstand and recover from future events. Public education and awareness campaigns were launched to promote emergency preparedness. These initiatives aim to equip residents with the knowledge and tools needed to protect themselves and their families during extreme weather events. Community workshops, informational materials, and school programs were part of these efforts. Investments in infrastructure improvements also played a crucial role. Projects to enhance drainage systems, build flood-resistant structures, and restore natural flood defenses such as wetlands were prioritized. These measures aim to reduce the risk of flooding and improve the city's ability to manage future storms. Looking ahead, as Houston continued to recover from Hurricane Barrel, the focus remained on building a more resilient and prepared community. The experiences and lessons learned from the storm served as a foundation for ongoing efforts to enhance disaster preparedness and response capabilities. The community's resilience, solidarity, and commitment to recovery were a testament to the strength of Houston and its residents. In the next chapter, we will discuss the importance of future weather preparedness exploring strategies and measures that residents can take to protect themselves and their properties from future weather events. We will also highlight the role of community education and awareness in building a safer and more resilient city. Chapter 6, 
Future weather preparedness The impact of Hurricane Barrel highlighted the critical importance of being prepared for future weather events. In this chapter, we will explore strategies and measures that residents can take to protect themselves and their properties from future storms, floods, and extreme weather. We will also emphasize the role of community education and awareness in building a safer and more resilient city. Emergency Preparedness Plans Having a well-thought-out emergency preparedness plan is essential for every household. An effective plan includes several key components. Emergency Kit An emergency kit should contain essential supplies to sustain you and your family for at least 72 hours. Items to include are non-perishable food, bottled water, medications, first aid supplies, flashlights, batteries, a multi-tool, important documents, and personal hygiene items. Evacuation Plan Know the evacuation routes and have a plan for where you will go if you need to leave your home. This could be a family member's house, a friend, or a designated emergency shelter. Ensure that all family members are aware of the plan and practice it regularly. Communication Plan Establish a communication plan to stay in touch with family members during an emergency. Identify an out-of-town contact who can serve as a central point of communication. Make sure everyone knows how to reach this person and keep their contact information handy. Pet Preparedness if you have pets, include their needs in your emergency plan. Ensure you have pet food, water, medications, and a safe way to transport them. Know which shelters or hotels accept pets in case of evacuation. Home preparation and mitigation preparing your home for extreme weather can significantly reduce the risk of damage. Here are some steps to consider. Floodproofing, elevate electrical appliances and HVAC systems above potential flood levels. Install sump pumps and check valves to prevent water from backing up into your home. Seal basement walls with waterproofing compounds to reduce seepage. Windproofing, reinforce your roof, windows, and doors to withstand high winds. Install storm shutters or impact-resistant windows. Secure outdoor furniture and other objects that could become projectiles during a storm. Drainage systems. Ensure that gutters, downspouts, and drainage systems are clear of debris and functioning properly. Consider landscaping with native plants and creating rain gardens to improve drainage and reduce runoff. Backup Power Invest in a generator to provide backup power during outages. Ensure it is installed and used safely according to manufacturer instructions. Staying informed and connected Staying informed about weather conditions is crucial for timely and effective response. Here are some ways to stay connected. Weather Alerts Sign up for weather alerts and notifications from reliable sources such as the National Weather Service, local news stations, and emergency management agencies. Use apps and services that provide real-time updates and alerts. Social Media Follow official weather and emergency management accounts on social media for the latest updates and information. Be cautious of misinformation and verify information from reliable sources. Community Networks Engage with your community by joining local preparedness groups and participating in neighborhood watch programs. These networks can provide valuable support and information during emergencies. Public education and awareness building A resilient community requires ongoing public education and awareness efforts. Here are some initiatives to consider. Workshops and training Organize community workshops and training sessions on emergency preparedness, first aid, and disaster response. 
These events can provide valuable skills and knowledge to residents. School programs implement emergency preparedness programs in schools to educate children and families about the importance of being prepared. Involve students in creating emergency kits and practicing evacuation drills. Information campaigns launch public information campaigns to raise awareness about flood risks, hurricane preparedness, and heat safety. Use various media platforms to reach a broad audience and provide practical tips and resources. Government and Community Collaboration Collaboration between government agencies, community organizations, and residents is essential for effective disaster preparedness and response. Here are some ways to enhance this collaboration. Community engagement. Involve residents in planning and decision-making processes related to emergency management. Create forums and advisory committees to gather input and feedback from the community. Resource allocation. Ensure that resources and funding are allocated to improve infrastructure, enhance emergency response capabilities, and support community preparedness initiatives. Public-private partnerships. Foster partnerships between government agencies, businesses, and nonprofits to leverage resources and expertise. These partnerships can enhance the capacity to respond to and recover from disasters. Conclusion The experience of Hurricane Barrel underscored the importance of being prepared for future weather events. By taking proactive steps to create emergency plans, prepare homes, stay informed, and engage with the community, residents can significantly reduce the impact of extreme weather. Public education and awareness efforts are crucial in building a resilient and prepared community capable of withstanding and recovering from natural disasters. In the next chapter, we will conclude our exploration of Hurricane Barrel's impact on Houston, summarizing the key points and reflecting on the lessons learned. We will also discuss the future outlook for Houston's weather and the ongoing efforts to enhance resilience and preparedness. Chapter 7 Conclusion and Final Thoughts As we conclude our exploration of Hurricane Barrel's impact on Houston, it is important to reflect on the lessons learned and the steps taken to build a more resilient and prepared community. This chapter summarizes the key points discussed throughout the video and provides final thoughts on the future outlook for Houston's weather and preparedness efforts. Summary of Key Points Hurricane Barrel's Impact Hurricane Barrel made landfall near Corpus Christi as a Category 1 hurricane, bringing strong winds, heavy rainfall, and widespread flooding to Houston. The storm caused significant damage to infrastructure, homes, and the community, highlighting the city's vulnerability to extreme weather events. Flood Warnings and Precautions Authorities issued multiple flood warnings and advisories, emphasizing the dangers of flash flooding and urging residents to take precautions. Early warnings and effective communication played a crucial role in ensuring the safety of residents. Recovery efforts, the immediate response focused on rescue operations, restoring essential services, and providing support to displaced residents. Community organizations and volunteers played a vital role in the recovery process demonstrating the resilience and solidarity of Houston's communities. Long-term recovery The recovery process extended beyond immediate response efforts to include long-term rebuilding and support. Investments in infrastructure improvements and public education campaigns aim to enhance resilience and preparedness for future weather events. Future Weather Preparedness creating emergency preparedness plans, preparing homes, staying informed, and engaging with the community are essential steps in reducing the impact of future storms.
Public education and awareness initiatives play a crucial role in building a prepared and resilient community. Future Outlook for Houston's Weather Houston's Weather Patterns, influenced by its proximity to the Gulf of Mexico, will continue to present challenges. The city remains at risk for hurricanes, tropical storms, and extreme weather events. However, the lessons learned from Hurricane Barrel and previous storms provide valuable insights for future preparedness. Ongoing efforts to improve infrastructure, enhance emergency response capabilities, and educate the public are essential to building a more resilient Houston. Collaboration between government agencies, community organizations, and residents is crucial in ensuring that the city is prepared to face future weather challenges. Final thoughts The experience of Hurricane Barrel highlighted the importance of community, resilience, and preparedness. The collective efforts of residents, volunteers, and authorities demonstrated the strength and solidarity of Houston's communities. As the city continues to recover and rebuild, the commitment to enhancing preparedness and resilience remains a top priority. By staying informed, prepared, and engaged, residents can play an active role in protecting themselves and their communities from future weather events. The lessons learned from Hurricane Barrel serve as a reminder of the power of nature and the importance of being prepared. Together, we can build a safer, more resilient Houston capable of withstanding and recovering from the challenges of extreme weather. Chapter 8 Additional Resources and Information to Further Support Residents in Their Efforts to Prepare for Future Weather Events This chapter provides additional resources and information. These resources offer valuable guidance on emergency preparedness, flood risk management, and community engagement. Emergency Preparedness Resources National Weather Service NWS, the NWS provides weather alerts, forecasts, and safety information. Visit their website at www.weather.gov for the latest updates and resources. Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA FEMA offers comprehensive information on disaster preparedness, response, and recovery. Access their resources at www.ready.gov. American Red Cross The Red Cross provides emergency preparedness guides, safety tips, and support services. Learn more at www.redcross.org. Local Emergency Management Agencies Stay connected with your local emergency management agency for community-specific information and resources. Check their websites and social media channels for updates. Flood Risk Management Houston Public Works The Houston Public Works Department offers information on flood control projects, drainage systems, and floodplain management. Visit their website at www.publicworks.houstontx.gov. Harris County Flood Control District. This district provides resources on flood risk reduction, floodplain maps, and ongoing projects. Access their information at www.hcfcd.org. Floodsmart.gov. Managed by FEMA, this website offers information on flood insurance, risk assessment, and flood safety. Learn more at www.floodsmart.gov. Community Engagement and Support Volunteer Houston Connect with local volunteer opportunities and community organizations through Volunteer Houston. Visit their website at www.volunteerho.org. Houston Food Bank. Support the community by volunteering or donating to the Houston Food Bank. 
Learn more at www.houstonfoodbank.org. Local Community Centers Engage with local community centers for support services, workshops, and community events. Check their websites for more information on how to get involved. Educational Materials and Workshops Ready Houston this regional preparedness initiative offers educational materials, workshops, and resources for residents. Visit www.readyhoustontx.gov for more information. Houston Office of Emergency Management, OEM, the OEM provides training programs, emergency preparedness guides, and community outreach events. Access their resources at www.houstonoem.org. Public Libraries Many public libraries offer workshops and resources on emergency preparedness and community resilience. Check with your local library for available programs. Conclusion Building a resilient and prepared community requires ongoing efforts and a collective commitment. By utilizing these resources and staying informed, residents can take proactive steps to protect themselves and their families from future weather events. Together, we can create a safer, stronger Houston capable of withstanding and recovering from the challenges of extreme weather. This concludes our comprehensive exploration of Hurricane Barrel's impact on Houston and the ongoing efforts to enhance resilience and preparedness. Thank you for joining us in this important discussion. Stay safe, stay informed, and stay prepared.